As a streamer, you're pretty much left with two options for your broadcasting software. I'm sure you all know them, and that is Streamlabs OBS and OBS Studio. And this subject matter is so intriguing that even my dog wants to listen. Now, some of you who have been watching my streams here on this channel know that I used to use Streamlabs OBS, or as they're now called Streamlabs Desktop which we'll get into later. And for good reason, it is a very simple and easy to use software. It is basically designed for people who do not want to, nor do they care to learn the ins and outs of broadcasting softwares. But if you listened, I'm sure you caught on to the fact that I said used to. I used to use Streamlabs OBS, which by default, means yes, I now use OBS Studio. And after using OBS Studio for a while now and genuinely loving my experience, I've come up with three reasons as to why I feel like OBS Studio is better than Streamlabs Desktop. And no, one of the reasons isn't because it feels more professional, like everyone will tell you. Am I saying that's not true? No, I, th I think it is true. But that's a pretty watered down response and I wanna give you some other reasons as to why I feel like you should choose OBS Studio as well. Let's get into the first reason, and that is because Streamlabs OBS, Streamlabs Desktop, whatever you want to call it, at least in my experience, and I know there have been others, people have come to my chat and told me this is true for them as well, it is glitchy. What do I mean by this? Well, there have been several times, especially right before switching to OBS Studio, where Streamlabs as a whole just crashed. No warning, nothing, I just looked up and it was gone which means there was no feed being sent to youtube for my stream and as you could imagine this was extremely annoying after the first time it happened i thought maybe it was just a fluke and in time it would just stop and go away i've tried restarting my computer reinstalling the app everything under the sun and still up until the day i decided to switch it kept crashing now, to be fair, this was more of a recent issue. However, it was a big enough issue and happened often enough for me to switch. And aside from the app as a whole, just completely crashing, there were other features inside of Streamlabs that were also glitchy. The big one I want to mention is game capture. Obviously, if you're playing games, you need to capture your game in some way, shape or form to show your audience what's happening. And a lot of people choose the game capture source as their way to do so. This is because game capture will capture your game and your game only when it detects it it won't capture anything else on your desktop and for privacy reasons this might just be what's most comfortable for most people but the issue with game capture is that it flickers all the time and this isn't just a me issue i've seen it all over reddit i've seen it all over streamlabs forums everywhere game capture is a big problem constantly when loading in the game or even during my gameplay game capture will just flicker non-stop and as you could imagine, this is nowhere near an enjoyable viewing experience for anybody that's currently watching my stream. So the easy solution to that is just use display capture. However, for some people, they may not be comfortable with that alternative. So therefore, they're out of luck. So outside of all the bugs and glitches, which in and of itself, I feel like is enough to make one person switch. What else is there that makes OBS Studio better than Streamlabs? And that brings us to my second point, and that is OBS Studio was my introduction to stream elements now if you don't know streamlabs has their own alert system as well as a separate download for their stream labels labels being what you see on a lot of streams showing top donation newest member newest subscription things of that nature and when it comes to streamlabs those labels i just mentioned all live on your desktop. All those files have to be placed somewhere and take up space either on your desktop or an external hard drive. Now, this isn't a make or break deal for me or for most people. However, when it comes to OBS Studio and Stream Elements integration, they make it super, super simple to set all of this up. And the great thing about it, it's all web-based. When you go to set up your source for your alerts or your labels, all you need to do is copy the URL from Stream Elements, put it in OBS Studio as a browser source, and voila. Another thing that's cool about this integration between OBS Studio and Stream Elements is that if you go to streamelements.com, it has a download for OBS Studio that specifically integrates the two pretty much into one application on your desktop. Whereas on Streamlabs, you need to download the actual Streamlabs desktop app for streaming. And then the stream labels, which actually isn't too easy to find online for all of your notifications of 
newest donations, newest subscribers, things of that nature. And then integrate the two. Stream Elements has it in just one download. You log in through your Twitch or Facebook and it's all right there already easily integrated and every single time you open up obs studio it also opens up a panel within obs studio that has all of your stream elements alerts of those new subscribers members donations super chats all of those things are right there the second you open up just that one application so even though Streamlabs was known as the simple easy to use software the integration between obs studio and stream elements pretty much makes it just as easy to use it's just an overall super smooth experience now let's hop into my third point here and this one gets a little bit controversial and that is because of all the controversy Streamlabs have gotten themselves into. Streamlabs has been under a lot of heat lately after hard proof that they've been blatantly copy and pasting descriptions, reviews, and app designs straight from their competitors. Now if you're wondering what I meant in the beginning of the video when I said Streamlabs OBS is now Streamlabs desktop, this applies to that. OBS Studio had their name before Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS came in and used OBS at the end of their name. Now keep in mind, OBS Studio didn't have legal rights to OBS and technically Streamlabs OBS is allowed to use it. But according to OBS Studios themselves, they did reach out to the people at Streamlabs OBS and ask them not to use it. Obviously they went ahead and used it and through further conversations, well, there wasn't really any further conversations because Streamlabs OBS basically ghosted them. Fast forward to today when they've been caught doing all of these sketchy things behind the scenes, they've now responded with changing their name, changing those reviews and descriptions that were blatantly copied and pasted and are now trying to right their wrong, even though that they never admitted that they were wrong. Why do I bring this up? I used an argument similar to this when I talked about my reasoning for switching from Twitch to YouTube, and that is because when it comes to me, my brand, my stream, I want to pour all of this into something or someone that I trust. And after all the negativity that Streamlabs OBS has gotten themselves into, that's not something that I necessarily want my brand to be a part of. Not only that, how am I supposed to trust that these people behind Streamlabs desktop can now be innovative enough to continue meeting the needs of streamers by implementing new and unique features when in the past they just been blatantly copying and pasting their competitors? And the answer to how I can trust them is I don't. When thinking about my stream and when I'm going live, I need to trust that your broadcasting software is going to not crash on me, therefore it can keep my stream going. I need to know on the back end that my streaming alerts and labels all integrated into my stream smoothly and it's not a hassle for me every single time I go live. And I also need to know that you're a trustworthy brand that is meeting the needs of all streamers in an ethical way. And it's for those three reasons that I am going with OBS Studio and Stream Elements or my streams going forward. If you guys found this video helpful, then you might find one of these two videos helpful over here. So go ahead and click one of those. And if you guys haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe with those notifications turned on and check out one of my live streams whenever you can. And with all that being said, that's all I have for this one. I'll catch you next one.